G'day, I'm Sam Corlett. I play Leif Erikson in Vikings Valhalla. We're here at Dog Pound today and I'm gonna take you through a little push session. Let's get amongst it. So to take you through a little bit of how I trained for Vikings Valhalla, I got cast just after I finished The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So I was still auditioning for like high school roles. I was intermittent fasting, I was high intensity interval training. And as soon as I got the role, they really wanted me to put on size. So it was straight to the gym and eating a lot of food. And so I put on about 10 kilos in the four months that we had. The training consisted of hypertrophy workouts, doing the at-home workouts until the gyms opened in Australia and I worked with my friend Mitchell Briggs. We built the foundation of LEAF. After the preparation, we started shooting. The mindset was primal. So we're doing a lot of CrossFit workouts, a lot of compound movements and learning new flows with the body, whether it be kettlebell flows, whether it be crawling, it was a lot of primal movements. So the session I'm going to take you through today is something that I've been doing in anticipation for the next season of shooting. So it's kind of the building phase right now, a little bit of mechanical tension. So we'll start off with a compound movement and then we'll go into accessory work. So we're going to go into metabolic stress cable flies and then we'll go into some volume and finish off with some like wringing it out going back to the joints and just allowing the body to feel at ease again. So to begin with I love to roll and move around a little bit mobility is key so just going to get the blood flow going obviously there's an aesthetic aspect to you know acting kind of represent your character as as honestly as possible but for me at the foundation of it if I can't move I can't do my job so mobility and warming up like this is so important for me. Shoulder mobility is extremely important to me. We're wielding axes, we're wielding swords, so keeping our body able is very important. We're doing a push session today, so I'm just gonna really spend some time on doing some cars, which are controlled articular rotations. So it's gonna just spinning your spinning your arms around. So these are ones that I kind of start every workout with no matter what I'm doing. Again, shoulder mobility and uh, just feeling able. So the first exercise we're doing today is a bench press. So it's always important to start off your sessions with a compound movement. These movements like require a lot of the body, so it's good to do them while you've got limited fatigue. We're gonna do pyramid sets, so I'm gonna work my way up. And the last set, I'm gonna do a drop set and I'm gonna kind of do as many as I can at each drop uh, on the way down. Because I've got a wrist injury, I'm gonna be limiting the movement. Um, so I'm not gonna be going all the way down. This man bun isn't a fashion choice. It's very practical. First set, empty bar. Just getting the, the patterns right in the body. And you just wanna really like be as optimal as possible for each set. So there's no rush to go back into it. Beautiful. Shake it out and chill out. Last set, as many as you can, drop sets. when I need help for the last few reps. I'd love help on the way up, but the eccentrics I really want because that's the last few sets allow the spotter to let you go down. And then a little help on the way up is always helpful. <sighs> This is the metabolic stress part of the workout. It's the second exercise. So it's pumping out about 10 to 12 uh, reps of the cable fly. And then we're gonna do a little hold in between instead of resting. So it's kind of non-stop movement. The heart rate punches up. So for this exercise, it's like a reverse pyramid. So we're lowering the weight each set. So it kind of makes it easier, but the fatigue is coming in as well. So. Uh, so pretty fucking difficult. Uh. 
So I'm just doing three rounds up and back of this. The last set we're gonna do is another metabolic tension. So it's gonna be doing lateral raises. So this is kind of just getting the shoulders ready for that as well. Um, yeah. Ooh. For this exercise, I'll be doing four rounds of 12. And in between each uh, set of reps, I'll be doing a hold with approximately like eight pounds. And to finish off, I do an EMOM, a seven minute EMOM. Just five push-ups on the minute. Crawl to the end and back. I like to crawl backwards a little bit uphill. They have that, that here in Dog Pound. And that's just to finish it off. Oh, it was a pleasure to have you. This is the structure I use for a lot of my workouts, whether it be push, pull, or legs. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something from it. And Netflix is now streaming Vikings Valhalla. I hope you enjoy it. Cheers.